lose 64 frames with no fire because you lose it on startup if you're attacked during it. And do you know the worst thing about this move, about this arc fire? If it hits someone, you can't even be sure it's going to true combo because people drop out of it and people can jump out of it. And if you hit bigger characters with it at certain points, it detonates but doesn't pull them up into it. So it just detonates on the spot and they can shield the next one. Anyway, to the game. Right, Sheik Robin. Um, the, the Robins seem to think that this is slight disadvantage for them. Or even, um, I think they're chatting gas. I think this is terrible for Robin. Um, Robin, like, Robin has so few answers to needles. It's ridiculous. Like, literally, it's just a matter of just trying to jump over, gain some pressure. Because Robin can't outzone Sheik. Like, she can literally just keep needling. And because Robin's thunders work on the charge system, so you can only reach the next level of thunder if you, re if you like, go for... So, basically, you can only go from thunder to elf thunder, but you can't go halfway. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you go from thunder to elf thunder, you that's allowed. But if you go thunder and stop halfway, you don't gain any charge. So, you have to go all the way. And because of this, if she keeps needling when you're trying to charge up the thunder, it just keeps interrupting and you never gain charge. So, you don't gain anything. There's absolutely nothing Robin can do against that. Um, Robin gets two frames by, uh, uh, on the ledge really freely by Sheik as well. Because the arc of the recovery is so predictable, you can down tilt, like, for free. Like, super, super free. Robin. <laughs> the cat, honestly, like... You know, you know what's sad? There's a good character in there somewhere. There is a good character in there. Arc Thunder's broken. The like, Arc Thunder's broken. Checkmate's broken. Like, 11 aerials. Look at that. Look at that. That's broken. That's actually broke. That's not fair. Like, Nosferatu, you grab someone from behind, you heal ridiculous percent. Like, that's not balance. But, these good things are not enough to make up for what's wrong. Like, there's lag on it. You can... Okay, so this is the thing, right? Certain characters can duck under every kind of Thunder. Every single kind. They can duck under all of it. There are certain characters where it's so bad that if I, so if I throw out Arc Thunder against, like, say, who's a good, no, if I throw out L Thunder against Sonic, right, and he runs towards me, at any given point, if he releases, like, Spin Dash or anything like that, so if he's in Spin Dash or releases, I'm punished. Because everything just has so much lag on it. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that! Why was there so much lag? I don't understand. 64 frames, that's over a second. You have over a second to do that. I recall reading the average human reaction time is like 19 frames or something like that, right? Or whatever the value it is, yeah? I believe this game has a seven frame input delay or something like that. Even if these values are somewhat off, you have over 40 more frames to punish Arcfire. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is unacceptable. That is... Uh, Robin... Uh, I said it before on my Twitter. I've actually, I've actually... So, I made a blog post about a year ago. Like, a huge, like, 10k word blog post on this character. I have several text documents at home of all the changes this character should receive. Literally. I, I, I'm not even going to go through it now because I'll upset the stream. I'll upset the stream. But... The thing about this character, the thing, the thing about Robin that gets me above everything else is that his risk to reward is not there. His main zoning tools come from his funders and arc fire. Arc fire is arc fire is such a commitment in so many matchups. In some matchups, it's completely useless. Like, what is arc fire going to get you against, say, Rosa, for example? What, what's that going to do? She's literally just going to get rid of it immediately. The only there are only a few characters that arc fire is like truly good against. Some of these range from like Charizard, Bowser, DK, because most of the time they can't full hop over it. But for, primarily because the jump squat takes so long. Most of these characters have like a seven or eight frame jump squat, except DK, I think, who has six for some reason. Um, which is less than Robin, by the way. I'm just going to throw this out there. It's less than Robin's. So, he has a jump squat that's less than Robin's. And he can't jump over the arc, the, the arc fire. So, arc fire can be used as like a really strong zoning tool. Which is fine. And that makes Robin kind of oppressive in those matchups. And I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that at all. Which is why I can't agree with Robin being buffed in the current state. Yes, he needs to be completely reworked. Because his character is a mess. But... When you throw out arc, arc Fire against someone like Sheik, all she has to do is fall up over it and she gets any punish she wants. She can literally dash up Smash you if she wants to after the full hop. 
because it has 64 frames of light. Sheik's a fast faller. Why was she falling out of the uh, out of that? Why was she falling out of the Elwin? Why? 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 See, no answers from the audience. Literally no answers from the audience. No one can tell me why she was falling out of that. Oh, was that Kips who's got that Kesty eye? Is that where it was? No, it wasn't. Right, that's literally, it wasn't. Because he didn't even start off in a good position for it to continue. He was spinning the blades and she was out. Why? Why? I don't even understand. This character is literally useless. Right, so the jab. Look! He lost the charge! No! He lost a charge for doing that. That is unacceptable. <laughs> Who Robin did Really? All oh, that couldn't have gone well. <laughs> it I was gonna say, I was wait, do you know why he didn't go Corrin? Okay. Well, I know that Karin versus Sheik is supposed to be a bad matchup for Karin as well. So I could kind of understand why he'd want to stay stay Robin. But like, yeah, see, the thing is, like, I, I, I think this could be worse. But there's Jank. There's always Jank with this character. Robin is one of those characters who benefits heavily with Rage. Because he just gains so much of it. Cheese, yeah. Exactly. Um, so in this scenario here... Um, right, so obviously Robin was going to do like a ledge hopping. Uh, if I was him in that scenario, I would have actually gone for a Nosferatu because the damage to healing ratio you would have got there would have been way more worth it than the amount of damage you got off an up air, which I think is like 15. Um, but the heal and additional you would have got off that, I think is way better. Up tilt, yep. Versus Kruton on the platforms, it's a good play by Pekiyama. Okay, so him and Matsu both got that wrong. Um, the range that it takes for you to get the optimal arc fire at the ledge where it detonates right on the ledge is a bit behind the platform, but they keep running under it for some reason. Okay, so I don't even need to mention about what just happened there. I, you can see for yourself what just occurred on the screen. 64 frames of end lag for that. Look at that, why Why does Robin go like this for so long? Why does he go into that like that gangster pose for so long? I don't understand. He's what? Enjoying the warm. Yeah, I know, it's from, it's from um, FE7, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see that? Everyone saw it. Everyone saw it. He ducked under the forearm. I don't understand why, why, why is that a thing? So, on the plus side, Sheik will die to pretty much anything. On the minus side, she can duck under anything Robin does. Oh, look how terrifying. A Nair. Just keep him off stage. Oh, the uh, invulnerability from um, Vanish, allowing him to avoid the spike. Uh, the first hit of Robin's upbeat can spike, provided you're close enough to Robin's hand when he does it. What? Yeah, back from back row kill the ledge as well. That's death. Yep. Right, so charge up to... I think he went to Arc Thunder, which is what I did. So ideally in this situation, um, I'd probably be looking for either Arc Fire into... Oh, sorry. Arc Thunder into uh, necessary follow-up. Because against Sheik, the most the most optimal route I found without any book support is... Arc Thunder, Arc Fire, forward air, forward air, which gets you 48%. Oh, look, there goes Robin. There goes Robin. There goes Robin. Um... Yeah, Arc Thunder, Arc Fire, it's forward air, forward air, only against fast fallers, because otherwise the Arc Fire just drops out. Um, the more reliable version, which I, I I think this one's better, is Arc Thunder into... Okay, so no. If you're close enough, you can actually do 